Dan Dickow, Scorebook Live, Washington at the GSL Media Day with back-to-back league champs, but also back-to-back state champs at the 4A level, the Gonzaga Prep Bullpups head coach, Matty McIntyre. It's been impressive what you guys have done over the last couple of years. Uh, how do you create that culture and that feeling of buy-in to get guys to sustain it? Yeah, the last couple of years have been remarkable, and certainly talent goes a long ways. But um, we ask our kids, we ask our parents um, to be patient and not to succumb to um, perhaps uh, the idea of instant gratification. Um, we move our kids along through the program. Our JV team was undefeated last season. We think that bodes well. We're trying to develop our kids. So um, even though we're going to be inexperienced, we should have um, some older kids on the team and hopefully they can uh, carry on with the guys uh, that just graduated left behind. You guys have a target on your back because I said back-to-back league champs, state champs. So there might be a sliver of confidence by some other teams uh, to be able to catch you guys at the top. That being said, I think if you look at the landscape of the league, it's pretty even this year. Are there any other teams that you look at in the GSL and say, hey, they are much improved? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's going to be tight all the way through. Um, every night's going to be a battle. I can see CV being really good. Um, Mead gave us a run for money. I think Mead is uh, going to be underrated on people's radar, but they're tough and they're physical and they play pretty hard-nosed basketball. Um, obviously, Ferris is always uh, good. And then I think the front runner would have to be Mountsville Can um, with everything they have coming back. And um, I think a lot, of, a lot of us will be chasing them. You guys had one of the most dominant players in recent GSL memory in Anton Watson, who's now moved on to Gonzaga University, looking for good things uh, from him there at that level. Talk about how good he was at yeah. the high school level. Yeah, Anton's uh, once-in-a-lifetime type player to coach, um, if that. I mean, I just feel so blessed and fortunate to be able to coach him. He was so humble um, with all the accolades and all the success that came his way. He did it the right way, and I think that uh, bodes well for guys like Liam and our younger guys to see how he handled that success. Um, but he was just terrific all the way around, um, and uh, we're going to miss him tremendously. He set the example um, that other guys before him probably started of work ethic, um, playing the right way. You've got a senior this year who – does the same thing. Liam Lloyd, he's already committed to play college basketball at Grand Canyon University. He's a guy that's been talked about as a as just a shooter early in his career, but he's worked hard to expand his game. What has the growth been like in his game from your eyes over the last couple of years? Yeah, absolutely. I think he's become a lot more well-rounded player, um, and that's going to show this season for sure. Um, Liam certainly wouldn't say deferred to some of the older guys, but there was just such balance um, on those teams last couple of years, Liam played his role. And I think he's going to open some eyes this um, season uh, in a variety of areas. But he's become a tenacious defender, something that we really hang our hat on. Um, he can finish at the rim. He's explosive. Uh, I think he's an underrated athlete. So um, he will open some eyes this season for sure and show his all-around game. Two returning players from a season ago, Liam Lloyd, Jaden Stevens, who we haven't mentioned, who is a sophomore. But you touched on off camera as well how good your JV team was a season ago, undefeated. You know the hidden gems that you might have coming up in your program that you're looking for production and somebody to step into a role. Is there anybody that's really kind of distanced themselves uh, in your eyes as saying, hey, he's going to be a big part of what we're doing? Yeah, uh, the JV team is critical. We just think that um, creating a, a culture of winning at every level matters, not trying to skip steps uh, along the way. Um, I think there's an up-and-coming uh, guard, Hodges Fleming, uh, that, that's going to be a really good point guard for us. Uh, Joe Few will certainly be uh, in the mix. And then we have a variety of big guys, some coming off the JV team, some coming off the freshman team, um, that I'm hoping we can develop and improve along the course of the season. Um, to be big time players for us. One of the, the, the most refreshing things that uh, I've taken away from conversations with you about uh, the, your basketball program is, is big picture understanding of what it takes to be good. You may or may not repeat as a state tournament title champion again. If that's not the case, what is a successful season at Gonzaga Prep? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, 
I think the expectations, um, I think certainly outside the program are going to be different. And in some ways that's um, a weight off of our shoulders. Last couple of years, having the expectation of winning and winning a certain way, you know, you'd win by 12 points and then you'd feel like <clears throat> that wasn't good enough or that somehow uh, we underperformed on any given night. It was sometimes hard to get joy uh, out of um, being that successful, if that makes sense. Um, there's more that goes into it than just that. So um, I would love it if we repeated. I'd love it if we won every game. But I also think there's a lot of gratification that comes through uh, the moments of um, disappointment, of, of the moments that test character. So I'm really excited and looking forward to the growth that can occur from the beginning of the season to the end. Um, and that's where I'm going to get my joy and my satisfaction. Looking forward to watching and following Gonzaga Prep and the Bullpups throughout the season, go through that learning curve and see how the season ends up for GSL Media Day. He's Maddie McIntyre. I'm Dan Dickow of Scorebook Live Washington.